fact, we just addressed the behavior of several, maybe 200 kids at the release of a balloon for a memorial service for a young girl who committed suicide. I saw that. Yes, and the word reverence is not even in the dictionary for these kids. But these kids, they all met in the auditorium, and then they came over like they were going to a football game. Mm -hmm. And I kept thinking, surely they are going to settle down. Surely they are going to respect this girl. Uh, the solemn, solemn occasion that it was, and I saw Darlene Thompson, who works at the juvenile detention school that I often talk to, mm -hmm. uh, she was trying to get everyone to pay attention so they could start the memorial service. Sure. And the biggest culprit was the phone. The phone. The How many phone. times is the phone just, it, it kind of takes you out of civility, doesn't it? it? It Well, it takes you out of humanity. Bingo. And this helps kids because they don't have to think. There's not any critical thinking going on, mm -hmm. and everything is for amusement. It, sh it shows how distant our kids are becoming from any real communication, mm -hmm. any real identification or definition of their own self or of their own culture. So they sit there with their phones and they show something funny on YouTube, they show something disrespectful, they throw their phones into the face of an unsuspecting girl or boy. Or oh, they're but, taking selfies. Yeah, they're taking selfies, they're doing crazy things. There's nothing that is revered. There's nothing sacred.